What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and I'm going to be showing you the MSI Command Center software that comes with the MSI Z170A SLI Plus motherboard. Now this software I believe is available for almost all of their Z170 motherboards. It might be a little bit different depending on the motherboard but you should have the same features so as the name suggests this is your command center this allows you to make a lot of changes that you would typically have to do in the BIOS all within Windows which is really nice so at the top here it is gonna let us know what OS we're running the BIOS version the our CPU as well as the motherboard that we're running in real time we have our CPU temperature and that is in Celsius as well as Fahrenheit our first tab over here um, used to be a bunch of different tabs our first tab is CPU and this allows you to change the ratio as well as the base clock of your processor really easy to do you can just go up and down um, if you want and then you of course you would hit apply and go ahead and do that you can also use the sliders to slide them up and down if you want um, just a very easy way to adjust your CPU frequency without having to go into the BIOS which you would typically have to do over here we have some information on our CPU fan um, you can see we have it in smart mode but we can also put it in manual mode if we want and um, go ahead and set it to that and you know change you know you know how fast it's running and everything like that and you can actually do that on all of these fans um, which will go into the fan configuration in just a little bit but you have all these fans and you can set your own fan curve if you want we have it set to smart mode um, so you can do that there's also a fan tuning utility and this is sort of like a little benchmark that your system's going to run to test the fans and to see how well uh, they're performing and set them up with their own fan curves. We're not going to run it now because it does take a little bit, but once you run it, it's going to have the best possible fan curve for your current system, which is nice. Over, we go over to our DRAM tab, and here you can see your frequency, you can change your voltage, and that is basically it with our kit because we don't have any XM, XM, XMP profiles on our kit so we don't um, we don't have the ability to change any of that but there's are there is more memory settings which I'm going to show you in just a little bit here IGP that's our integrated uh, graphics which we don't have turned on so there's obviously nothing over here and then OC Genie 4 is the instant overclocking so if you're new to overclocking or you've never done it or you just want to get a little bit of a system boost you can go ahead and use OC Genie so all you have to do is turn it on and they do let you know when you turn it on if you're using an i7-6700K, which we are using, it's going to boost you up to 4.4 gigahertz. If you're using an i5-6700K, it's going to boost you up to 4.1 gigahertz. So nice little system boost without really having to do much. Now down here, we have our advanced settings. So we go to our voltages. And in our voltages, we have our, all of our voltages, which again, you can go ahead and change in real time. Um, and you can see them in real time as well. So you can see your voltages and go ahead and change them. Um, if you need to do that, you're changing, you know, the most common one would be your CPU voltage or your DRAM voltage, which you can both change in here. Go to our fan, and this is the fan, um, the little fan, fan suite that you have. And what it allows you to do is take each one of your fans and go ahead and uh, you know set them in manual mode or smart mode. Um, you can go ahead and what's cool about the graphs is they'll, they'll show you the percentage of speed they'll be out at what temperature, which is kind of nice. Um, so you can see your fan curve and everything like that. Um, obviously see in real time how fast your fan is actually spinning. I um, only have one system fan connected. If we had more than one, they would obviously appear here. Under our DRAM, you give it a second. This takes actually a little bit to load here, um, but this will load all of our DRAM settings. You can actually make changes to all of your timings here, which again, it takes just a little bit and we'll move it over so you can see it. But this allows you to change all of your uh, timings and all of that for your memory, which is nice. Um, so you can do it all within Windows, of course, without having to go into the BIOS. And then finally, we have our sensor here. And I was messing with this a little bit earlier. I'll go over it first. Um, so what it allows you to do is see sort of an overview of your motherboard. We can see that we have our CPU fan and a system fan running. We can see our temperatures in real time. And it kind of gives you a little heat map of how hot certain things are. 
Um, and you can actually change the orientation of the motherboard if you want. So you can um, have it, you know, this is horizontal uh, or vertical, and then you can have it, you know, landscape if you want as well. Um, so it's kind of nice that you can see that now. I clicked this cooling button earlier, and it just, it put my fans at 100% speed, um, and it, I wasn't able to turn it off, which was kind of weird. Um, so I'm not going to click it this time. So I'm not exactly sure why that's in there. Um, if you needed to, to cool things off really quick, I guess that's the way to do it. But it didn't turn them off. Um, so I'm not sure what's up with that. I believe if you click on these, or you can just move these around. Um, so you can move the fans, you know, to where they are in your system, I guess. But it's a nice little, uh, you know, visual overview of what's going on in your system. And I believe that is basically it. Um, of course, you have your settings here, so you can go ahead. Oh, there's a lot more. So you have your settings here. Um, you can record your voltages, fan speed, temperature, um, all in real time here, and you can record for a set amount of time. So you're looking to do maybe a benchmark or something. You know, you can record your voltages for 60 minutes or your fan speed for 60 minutes or temperature or your, um, and all of that's all within real time. You have your warnings here. So you have your fail-safe warnings. You know, if something goes to a certain... Uh, voltage a certain speed like your CPU uh, fan speed you want you don't want it to go look, go below a certain speed maybe it dies or something so you want an alert you can go ahead and set that up obviously temperatures as well you can go ahead and set those all up so you don't fry your system or fry your chip or something like that you'll get a warning and uh, it won't go ahead and you know fry your chip or damage anything in your system and then mobile control um, this will actually allow you to control the command center software from your mobile device if you have this connected uh, via Wi-Fi, I believe. Um, so it's pretty cool that you are able to do that. We, of course, didn't set it up, but you can go ahead and do that. And it looks like uh, we have more stuff. So we have all of our information here on your motherboard. Um, as you can see, all the information on the motherboard, on our CPU, and you can see all the information here on our memory and you can see the different dims here you know all of your memory and um, and then we have our full hardware monitor which will give you all of your voltages temperatures and fan speeds now while I do like the command center software as you can see it was kind of hard for me to kind of find everything right um, you know if I go to the CPU you know, I can only change these two settings, you know, but if I want to change voltages, I actually have to go into advanced down here and then select voltage, you know, and then go ahead and change it. I would have liked a more kind of put together version of the software. Well, it does give you a lot of options and there's a lot of things that you can change. I just feel that it's it's not organized in an easy way for me to find. Um, it's sort of like a BIOS that isn't put together well, so you kind of have to dig for the different settings. I just would have liked a better kind of overall view and uh, you know just easier to find certain settings. But um, this is the MSI Command Center software running on the Z170A SLI Plus. If you have any questions about the Command Center software, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Till next time. Catch you guys later.